we're experienced in the right positions, but we're also really young. I'm really excited about this year. We're faster, um, we're more athletic. Um, I feel like we're gonna be stronger. And so we recruited our system. We're ready to, we're at that point right now in season where it's time to just start playing games. So go to Texas in two weeks. So I'm excited to kind of put the freshmen out there so they can really figure out what Juco ball is all about. And hopefully some of them grow after that weekend where we can really see where we are. We're going for it all. I think this team um, is special. Uh, we're bringing back four great sophomores, one being Samara Fields, who was freshman of the year last year. Um, she really helped carry this team last year. And this year, I feel like she'll really have Jasharia Hunt on her side, who I feel like is about to have a breakout season. Um, she's a shifty guard. She can get from point A to point B very smoothly. Um, she can shoot the three balls. She's, she's more explosive this year. She's stronger. Um, seems like she's getting a little faster. So I'm really excited to see what Jasharia Hunt is going to bring to the team this year, as well as Tatiana Buckley. She came back um, for the summer on fire. She's, she's guarding everything on the floor. She's a strong guard. Um, she's our best defender right now. She's shooting the three ball well, and of course we know that she's a dynamite um, get into the basket. And so we're really excited about Buckley. And then we have Jemiah Evans who's came back and I feel like it's gonna have a breakout season as well. Um, her game is really developed around the basket. She's shooting the mid range shot. I can see her confidence. She's using that body. She's cleaning off the glass and that's all we need. Uh, we didn't get real big this year as far as in height, but we're athletic, we're strong in the right positions, and we just want to keep people off the board. So I'm really excited about all those four sophomores and, with their, and their leadership that they're going to bring to the team this year. Uh, right now we have Jazlyn Houston, who was Miss 4A basketball. Um, excited about what she's going to do for us and the role that she's going to play. She's a point forward, which that was our key position to get where we could get a score. Um, forward on the floor. Right now, she's kind of in that transition phase, but I know by the time we get the conference, she'll be ready to break out and be a true freshman. We also have Kristen McMillan for Hoover. Um, she stretches out the defense. She can shoot the three ball, has an elite mid-range game, um, clean the glass very, very well as a rebounder. So she's going to get uh, minute for, minutes for us this year as well. Uh, we're also adding in Saria Walker, who is a true point guard. Uh, she'll be facilitating a lot of our offense this year. And so she's a great on-ball defender. Um, all those kids I just named so far state champions. We also have Anaya Hunter, La Princess Powell, and Jaden Carr, who are all state champions as well. Uh, we also have KP Palm, who's, um, we're developing her as just a knockdown shooter, as well as she's very athlete, athletic, um, extremely fast, and I think she'll be able to get to point A to point B and transition as uh, far as in the front court really, really well. Um, right now, she's just still growing, but we're excited about what she's gonna bring to the team as well. We also have Tamia Yates, who's a 6'1", uh, power forward, long wingspan, is probably right at seven foot right now. We're really hoping that she'll be a great shot blocker, rebounder. She has made leaps and bounds since the summer, so I'm really excited about her. Probably most excited because of her growth so far and what she can really bring to this league and the danger that she can bring in the paint. The conference is wide open this year. Um, it's some really great teams that I feel like, you know, about four or five teams really have a shot to win it. Um, Pearl River, um, I like their roster. Ed Awama, I really like what she put together. Um, Northwest got some key pieces as well. Um, East Mississippi, I know a couple of kids, they signed. And so right now, I think the league is wide open. It's really just gonna get down to when, whoever comes back after Christmas and you got to be ready because we know we get that long break at Christmas and so you really just starting over with your team when they come back in January. We have four non-conference games before we start conference which hopefully we can, that can get us back rolling where we can be ready to go in conference and not skip a beat. Coach Barty is that's that's my right hand man. Coach Barty has brought so much wealth and knowledge to our program. What she brings for the girls as far as uh, developing their skills and how detailed she is when she's on the court with them. Um, now we're getting ready to start official practice and they're gonna be ready where we can just put the whole picture together. Um, I, I'm excited about her being here. You know, year one was fun. I think year two is about to be great. Uh, she's hardcore, she loves her job. She's, she's very uh, reliable and dependable. 
and what she just does for our program is great. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited about what she's bringing to us. She's bringing that next level mentality. And I'm not just talking about Division One. She played 10 years pro overseas, and she gives these girls um, her pro mentality, and that's what she's training for. If they say, hey, I want to be on the next level, she holds them to it. She don't back down. She don't hold back, and that's where she's pushing them to, and that's what we need in our program. So I'm really excited about having her here. We're in this great brand new arena, the Dantzler Arena. We're excited about being here. It's really taking recruiting to the next level. Um, just the atmosphere of the games. I think yesterday I was counting them out. I think right now we're sitting at maybe 14 and one, uh, but we're undefeated in conference right now. So we want to keep that rolling into the next season to make sure that we keep this where, hey, we got a home court advantage. And I think bringing in this new arena has given us that. And so we're really excited about going into this season and really having a full season in their new arena.